Iran's President Salva Kiir says he is fully committed to the new peace deal. But the opposition has some reservations over the power-sharing arrangements. Still, for the sake of peace, they too have signed. CGTN's Patrick Oyet has more now from Juba. The peace deal signed in Khartoum provides for formation of a unity government headed by President Salva Kiir to run for three years. South Sudan will have five vice presidents, including opposition leader Riek Machar. The country's parliament would be expanded from 400 to 550 members to accommodate representatives from all opposition groups. Juba says this time round, the peace agreement would easily be implemented. I believe that you know, uh, the agreement has been signed in a, in a, in the at, atmosphere that was not you know intimidated or whatever it is so it will hold agreement will hold however a peace deal in 2015 didn't end war in south sudan when opposition groups returned to juba it is sparked another cycle of violence when clashes broke out in the presidential palace in july 2016. many residents of south sudan's capital juba are cautiously hopeful of the news of another peace deal the young people here want peace. We need development. We need education. So politicians should stop the war. We want peace to come in South Sudan because people are suffering. Roads are blocked. No school. School is there, but money are not enough to pay school children in the school. Foods are not there. Children cannot study because they are hungry. Their parents are in camp. They cannot even go to see their parents because the road are blocked. The war has forced more than 200,000 South Sudanese people into internally displaced camps protected by the UN peacekeepers. More than 2.5 million South Sudanese nationals have become refugees in South Sudan's neighboring countries. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.